right, we're back on a C20. Got a little issue going on here. Sorry, I forgot to take a video of it before of what it was doing, but um, the truck has got this weird like knock. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna I'm gonna refer to it as a knock, but I don't believe it's a knock. Or so we're gonna find out. So when I hold the throttle, about yay wide open, it's like gang 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 gang. It kind of just has like this ping knock, but it's not detonation because it doesn't sound like a dieseling gas motor. It's very hard to explain. That's why I wish I would have got a video of it, but I couldn't, especially with this op these open headers right now. It's really hard to, um, but I genuinely think it's a distributor because everything's been changed. The cap, coil, rotor, spark plug wires, spark plugs, carburetor. I don't know what it could be besides a distributor. Now, the only other possibility is it could be a bad cam, but I'm going to try and solve this problem today. And here's what we got to solve it. Picked up a brand new HEI distributor. I'm probably going to leave the cap that's on there on it, or I'll switch it over. It won't take long to switch it over. I just got to pull the spark plug wires off with that little black ring and put them on. I know that black ring isn't the prettiest thing, but it keeps the firing order correct. So the best thing is, is the main part is here. So it seems like, you know, it wouldn't be that part of the distributor since I replaced everything. But, um, don't mind the sound here. We had a similar issue with another truck a while ago. Actually, last summer to be exact. And same thing. New plugs, new wires, new cap, new rotor, and nothing. Under load, it still ran like crap. I checked timing even on this one. At idle, it runs beautiful. When it's idling, perfect, smooth. But when I go to rev it, it just, something's not there. So, I'm going to quit the talking. I'm going to get right in there. I'm going to take that cap off, lean it off to the side, get the distributor out of there. Just to make life easier, I'm probably going to turn the motor over to top dead center. Um, so I know where my rotors got to go and stuff like that. Makes life a little easier. So I can hopefully get it on the first try. But I'm going to get that distributor out of there. Get the new one in there. We'll see if it makes a difference. It's probably going to be a shorter video than usual. But I'm hoping this makes a difference because we had it happen with one other truck. And if this is the case for this truck, that means there's more of you out there that are having this issue um, I don't think this motor's ever been changed. This is, I could almost swear on my life this is probably the original motor in here. It's still orange. 76 is the last year of orange. So 99% of the original motors that haven't been touched could possibly have this issue. So I'm going to get to it. We'll see if it makes a difference. Hopefully it makes a difference. Hopefully I can help you guys out. So let me dig into it and we'll see what we find.
All right, I started up. I couldn't see the timing mark, so I'm going to crawl underneath there and mark the timing mark with a paint marker. Then I'll retime it. All right, I got it marked. We'll try her again. All right guys, so the distributor definitely made a big difference, but it still has an issue. If I had to explain it, it's like when a motor loads up and you're giving it gas, it and you're under load, it's a I don't know if any of you guys have ever experienced a choke being stuck on where the vehicle really loads up. Um that's what it's doing. Uh Uh, 
Now this is why you always check your work. And I'm going to leave this in my video because not everything on YouTube is a miracle. Look what I just found unplugged. Right? First of all, we got massive air leak. And a distributor is not advancing. So, it looks like I'm going to have to go for another ride and test this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to give you my input when I come back. And I'm definitely going to leave that in the video because that's how life works. So, here you go. Perfect example. Now, I'm going to touch on one more thing before I go for a ride. I was going to lead into telling you guys I believe this thing has the wrong spark plugs in it. I'm still going to change the spark plugs. I'm still going to look into that theory. I say that because when I pull the spark plugs out, the electrode and the tip and the strap are really recessed into the plug. Usually that means it's a cold spark plug. Also, I was looking at these plug wires. They're really, really thin. They're supposed to be brand new plug wires, by the way. Usually really, really thin ones are for points ignition. The plugs, according to the number and what I've found, those are points ignition plugs. So, first thing I'm going to do is change the plugs. Then I'll change the plug wires if it doesn't fix anything. But the very, very first thing I'm going to do is go for a ride. Now that the distributor is advancing correctly. That may have been my issue the whole time. I'm going to go for a ride and check back in with you guys in a second. I don't know how well you guys will be able to hear, be able to hear this, but here's what we're kind of dealing with.